Hi, I'm Bob Levine. I'm president of Resistos Corporation, and I'm here to tell you today a little bit about our newest product, our newest video scope product, uh, which represents a somewhat of a, a revolution in capability for video scopes. It's called the Stealth Scope. Uh, it is designed for uh, tactical missions. It's a, a device that allows you to see into a, uh, <clears throat> a, a dark area covertly. It has uh, infrared illumination uh, and it has some features that are, are really, really unique. Uh, and I'll, I'll get that to that in a moment. What I wanted to do first is give uh, people a little bit of an overview of the different types of videoscope and fiberscope technologies that have been available over the years. And after I do that, I'll point out why this product is so unique. Initially, when uh, I got started in this business, the only thing that was available really were video, uh, fiberscopes. So fiberscope is, looks very similar. Uh, it has a, uh, it's an optical device. Uh, it, there's no uh, electronics in here. It's made up of, of optically conductive little fiber bundles that will go into this, uh, in this sheathing here. And what they do is they allow you to look into this end and see what's coming out of this end here. The problem is, is that the images were crude uh, and uh, you know, the fiber, the pixelation was significant and they weren't overly sensitive. There was a lot of loss of light in the fiber bundles. You couldn't see too well in the dark with these devices. And they were expensive, and expensive to maintain if they broke. Uh, then came along the videoscope. The videoscope is, looks very similar, except it's electronic. There's a miniature uh, camera in the tip of this. It will also articulate on the end here. You can get some with uh, four-way articulation, some with two-way articulation. This has four, some with no articulation. Uh, and in addition to the little miniature camera here, you would also have a fiber bundle. But that fiber bundle wasn't used for imaging, it was to, to act as a light pipe, to get light down to the tip here so you can illuminate the tip. And it would also require an external light source. And once again, these devices were, the image quality was better, the, the, there were more pixels for your eye to see, so the image looked better. However, they didn't work all that great in the dark. You needed a lot of light to illuminate a dark void space. Uh, and uh, you also, as you look here with the video scope, because it is a, uh, a video camera in the tip, there's no ocular, there's no lens here. This would require a secondary display that you would plug into. It also requires power to power the electronics and allow you to use this. So there was a bunch of cables and wires and, um, and the, an external light source and it wasn't terribly good in the dark. This is where our stealth scope uh, is, is now the latest uh, in technology, the latest generation of video scope. Uh, for one thing you see uh, in our stealth scope here, we also have the four-way articulation, but you'll also notice we have a, a semi-rigid uh, guide tube for the, uh, the, the uh, fiber bundle and the electronic cables in here and the mechanical uh, control cables. And this allows it to stand out uh, horizontally. And these are good to span a void space if you need to go through a wall or up into a ceiling and look around. Uh, this is a great tool. It's also in the half a meter and even the full meter version, it, it's very portable. You can bend it around and it's not this big cluster of wires and cables and, and light sources that needs to be used in conjunction with this to have it operate. Uh, this is self-powered. It has its own internal lithium power source, so you don't need an external power supply. It has a built-in uh, OLED monocular. Uh, it's not a little miniature LCD display or viewfinder that you'd see in some devices. It's a true 640 by 480 high-res OLED monocular with a rubber shroud. The rubber shroud is great because it masks any ambient glow from the screen. So when you need to be really stealthy, this thing will keep you from lighting yourself up with the, with the screen. It is compatible with a larger screen, which can be used you know, as needed, and if you want, it'll plug right into here to get a larger uh, 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 viewing screen so that you can, more than one person can see the image at a time. Uh, this product has a built-in light source. It uses an infrared laser illuminator that is totally covert, 980 nanometers, uh, which is invisible to the human eye. Uh, now, when you're using this device, uh, one of the things that makes it unique, in addition to the things that I've mentioned, is the fact that this can see 20 feet in a dark void space, which is 
very, very unique for a, a video scope. Most video scopes, again, can't see that far, even with a large light source. So it makes it a very good tool to assess a situation uh, in, in the dark covertly. One of the things I also wanted to mention is, uh, is that there are now video scope uh, tools on the market, things that look like this, and I don't want to mention the brand here, but uh, this is something that is available. Uh, they sell them in law enforcement catalogs. You can even buy some of these things in the Home Depot. And they look like a video scope. Uh, the problem with this is it doesn't work for this application. You can only see, whereas our product can see 20 feet in a darkened room, this can see literally maybe three inches in a darkened room. So if you're going to use a product like this and think that it's going to serve your tactical surveillance needs, you're probably wrong. It's not going to work. Uh, save your money. Getting back to our video scope here, uh, what I'd like to do is I'm going to turn it on and I'll, I'll show uh, some of its capability. Uh, for one thing, uh, the power switch on here, you can turn the uh, illumination on and off with uh, this button over here. And this controls, we have several levels of intensity control for the illumination, which can be controlled over here. Uh, the ocular you would look into like this, you can focus it based upon your requirements for your eyes. You know, everybody has a little bit uh, of a, a different requirement to, to see clearly, but you can adjust it based upon uh, your own uh, vision requirements. Uh, one of the really uh, it, it, neat features about this product is there's a little window here where the lithium battery sits and on that, through that window, you can see the fuel gauge. It tells you how much power is left in the battery. The nice thing about it is I can see how much power is left in the battery whether the unit is powered on or off. So if I grab it off a shelf, I can just look at it and know if I have enough energy left in this battery to, for my mission. Okay, what I have here is I have the, uh, the uh, scope hooked up with its external monitor just so you can see we can generate an image on an external screen uh, which is the same as what you would see when you looked into the monocular and of course we can adjust the position of the scope here. What I'll do is I'm going to turn on the illuminators and here we have uh, what it would look like in pitch darkness with no other light source. And you can see she's actually too close for this light. Uh, it's very, very bright. Uh, I'll turn it down a little bit there, that's a little better. Uh, and, and, and the gain does come up on the camera, it does get a little bit grainy, as you would expect uh, in any uh, low light situation, the noise levels come up. However, it's clear enough to see there's a person there, and are they holding a weapon or not. It's a, it has a lot of value in darkness, which is uh, unusual for many videoscope products. Okay, so what I've just talked about is the new Zisto Stealth Scope which has an infrared illuminator internal, self-powered with a lithium battery, has its own fuel gauge, can be, uh, has a high-resolution OLED monocular in this rubber boot, is compatible with an external display, which can be plugged in and powered from the same battery source, offers four-way articulation, and is available in a fully flexible or semi-rigid guide tube configuration, available from half a meter to three meters long, uh, based upon uh, your need and budget. Uh, if you're interested in this product, please contact us and we'd be happy to arrange a T&E or product demonstration. Thank you.